What is going on guys? My name is Ron Beckham from Ron Reviews here my, with my second take on recording this. I realized I had sound on it and I was like, I am not going to get copyright uh, straight. I'm already on two. I am on the verge of getting hit with something. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I'm really, I'm really, uh, thankfully it just got to the intro so I didn't miss anything. Um, I'm really uh, interested in seeing what's going to happen this episode. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. My roommate's in the next room right across from me uh, and I don't want to wake him up, you know, <laughs> because, you know, it's rude. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I might wake him up if this episode's really hype. We'll see what happens. But anyways, guys, I'm really looking forward to this episode. Hopefully you guys are too. And I will have the uh, full video up probably later on today, uh, probably tonight. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, regardless, I am ready to jump into this week's episode. So guys, without further ado, let us jump in to My Hero Academia Season 3, Episode 44, Roaring Upheaval. Starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. They always do this intro, though. This little small intro. The world's greatest hero. Yep. Um, this intro. At first, I wasn't too hyped for it, and it still doesn't get me as hyped as another one. Um, one of my my favorite intro of My Hero Academia. I don't remember if it was the first or second one, um, but it's still hyped. It's still really good. I think it's my second favorite. Easily my second favorite. Yeah, this this intro totally grew on me. Totally grew on me. <laughs> and people are always saying it's like, why is it a bunch of intros where you see people fighting the sky? And I'm like, there's a lot. <laughs> it's true. I do hope we get more toga. <clears throat> toga. Oh, yeah, that's right. What do you looks like behind that mask? Is it another mask? Yeah, I want to I want to see how 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 they're going to handle this. I wonder if it's actually going to force him to um yeah, Tokoyami. I wonder if it's gonna force him to actually like um get um gonna force him to actually be able to control it at night. Or they're gonna knock him unconscious. No. Oh. That's why he was training in that mountain. Mm. So his emotions directly affect his quirk. I wonder, can his quirk actually hurt himself? Hmm. 
This is like the first time I've heard him talk this much that I can think of. It's a pretty, it's still a pretty weird, uh, quirk. He's mad, uh, Oh! Jeez. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, that makes a that that that, that sounds really damn smart. It makes it feel like it was being selfish. Dude, he's attacking the villain. Good, kick his ass, let him kick his ass, and then help him. I actually like that. That's a good idea. Smart move, Bakugo. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna wait, I'm gonna wait until he, he beats the shit out of him, then I'll help. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, knock his teeth out. Then he's basically worthless. Mm. I've always wanted to know more about him, Tokoyami. I thought he's a badass, badass bird, <laughs> whatever the hell he is. He looks just so, like, lost. <laughs> and so I just Baku goes, like, blank face is pretty damn funny.
<laughs> Don't tell me what to do, even though I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Such a typical Bakugo. Sue likes Jello. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna get her! Yeah, that's right! I totally forgot that those were on her! Yes. I, I do feel- I do feel a little bit, um... Skeptical of the people who call her waifu material. I think it kind of shows them that they like them in a little- uh, Oh, it's going to be her fighting? Ooh, ooh. Mmm. Uh, ow. <laughs> Don't. Damn. I, I, I wonder if people call her waifu because, oh, look at her blush. <laughs> I know. I, I, damn. Wait a second. She's so fucking creepy. And I like that. In terms of her character, I like it. Waifu material, I don't know. I like I like my blood where it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> Because you want others to be like them. Oh, sh Granted, that's not a lot of blood you... you Oh, yep, yep, yep. And I knew that I knew this I knew this um that was <laughs> I knew that was a development that happened. I got spoiled to that, but Yeah, where is Bakugo? I wasn't... <laughs> if he was about... <laughs> I'm 
use to compress. I'm curious of what his quirk is. Hmm. Yeah, because I think Tokoyami was right behind him to keep Bakugo in the middle. Nice. Got to heat up, though. So he's definitely he's definitely not a fighter. I mean, I can I can kind of guess that. <laughs> I like how he just... I don't know why I like that villain. Other guy. He's quirky. I like quirkiness. Yeah, twice. He can't fight? Is he being a coward? Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen these people. Oh, tracker? Wait, the, no, I mean, I mean him. I've never seen him before. That I can remember. Jesus. Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't really know what his quirk is. Is he gonna still continue to fight? Oh, is, he still has his legs. But he's on too much of a adrenaline high. I still like how they're still pulling that guy behind. Mmm. Splints. Sop. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing she does not want to be killed. She's always happy, though. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. I don't, why do I like twice? I have a feeling like he's gonna be like even more psychotic though. Damn. <laughs> ah, damn it! That's where they're gonna end it. Damn it! But I don't know. Like, something, there's something about twice that I'm just like, I like his personality. I know he's a villain, but still, he's like the optimistic kind of villain. He, he kind of reminds me, in a sense. Of, um, oh my gosh, Toby from the Akatsuki because he was always that the guy that was like way different than everyone else. But granted, we know how, how Toby turned out to be, so who knows? It could pull that, or maybe he, if he's like that the entire time, I'm just gonna like him for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm for some reason, like, I know, um, I didn't recognize her with her, with her hair down, that's why I was like confused at first. Um, but I don't remember the guy, the guy with the headband. I don't remember him for some reason, but when I saw her with her hair down, I was like, "Who is that?" And then like, then I saw the uh, on the top, it was like creation. I was like, "Oh, that's her." It just didn't click at first because I was like, "Who is this?" <laughs> but um, she, yeah, she basically um, he was able to put a tracker on him on the uh, Nomu. I do want to know what the principal's um, power is. The principal's uh, principal of UA. All right, let's see what happens next episode. Nice, we get they get to fight him. Oh, <laughs> we're going to see between Toga and Deku. <laughs> so I have a feeling that I'm going to like this uh, next episode. I mean, this was a good episode too. Um, Tokoyami um, losing control and then finally getting it back and using all these plans. I, it's going to be good. I have a feeling they probably knocked out Mr. Compress or Masked Compress. I think it was Mr. Compress um, when they hit him onto the ground. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Because I, 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 I want to know more of Dobby and Twice. It looks like Twice just has the ability to uh, create, like, clones of someone. We'll see what happens. Uh, and Dobby is, like, quite cremation. So, yeah, it looks good. But anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, I will actually start um, rendering the edited version of this really soon. Um, because I have to wait an hour anyway before um, uh, Sora Online and um, Persona 5 even come out. So I'm going to hopefully knock those out as fast as I can. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.